Big game to look forward to tonight. Eight o'clock, PSG against Manchester City. It's the first leg of this Champions League semi-final. Who will go through across two legs? We've been speaking about this all morning. Gabby, how excited are you for this game? I can't wait. I just said to you, didn't I? My phone's on airplane mode and I don't want to be disturbed. I'm not looking at anything else but the game because... I heard Ali say earlier as well, the Bayern Munich versus PSG game was amazing, especially the first leg, but I think tonight's going to be better. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Ali, what do you think? Well, I hope so. I mean, uh, and there's every chance it could be, Gab, because, you know, you'd, you'd have to say probably as brilliant as Bayern Munich are, and I know I think they missed Lewandowski. I think that was probably the difference between the two teams. I just think the fact Lewandowski, you know, was out uh, for Bayern Munich, effectively cost them the tie yeah. but Bayern Munich are brilliant but I don't think they're as easy on the eye as Manchester City so I think it could be that kind of game we just sit back and just watch both teams attack each other that's certainly my hope Gavin it, it, it'll do, be brilliant man do you remember, you. Ali do you remember when um, they played man, Bayern Munich and I says the Bayern Munich wingers are getting the ball too easy to go one on one yep. with um, PSG yep. If they let Mares get that ball oh. and go one on one, because he's in he's in ridiculous form. Ridiculous. If he gets that ball, he's going to cause carnage tonight. I'm so excited to watch him. Who's better going forward at the two teams for you, Gabs? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I know it's it's, 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 it's uh, impossible to answer. Gonna, it, it, PSG <laughs> win for five nil tonight. They'll be using my clips saying uh, Man City <laughs> Sorry, the better yeah. team going forward. No, they're, just, they're both unbelievable going forward. It's just because I was sat there writing down the the key players, and they're all. I mean. They're all, all the but ones, all the glitzy ones that we're talking about are, are you, players that go it, forward. It's amazing. And Gabby's right. 100% right. First of all, I've got to say, <clears throat> Mares was sensational mm-hmm. at the weekend. Mm. But we're talking about, listen listen to what we're actually saying here. We're talking about Mares could have as big, if not a bigger influence on the game than Neymar and Mbappe. That's, that, that in itself is an incredible statement. Because automatically you think about the great players in the world right now, you think about Mbappe and Neymar. You don't necessarily think about Mares. But such is the form that he's in. I mean, I, I actually felt sorry for Regalon at the weekend, man. He was going to cross it. He was going back on his right foot, man. He was just brilliant. Brilliant. He's in top for him. I feel sorry a bit more. Do you remember Hoiberg? Hoiberg played that pass forward and was like, how could you miss that? What are you doing? And it's like, it was a terrible pass. Remember that bit? Okay, we'll get back to that later. So the question is, how do you stop Neymar and Mbappe? Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, Lille beat PSG 1-0. Um, it was a game at the time, but them three points above them in the league. They're now just one point above them. Um, it was also a game which included a red card for superstar Neymar. So how do you conquer the mighty PSG? Well, I'm delighted to say someone knows and they're going to come on and share that wealth of influence with them and information with us. Former Premier League defender, now Lil captain Jose Font is on the line. Good morning, Jose. Good morning, Jose. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. We gave you quite a build up there, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> um, first of all, how are you doing at the moment? A point clear in the league. How's it all going? Uh, everything going good. Um, we've got. Not going that good, really, is it? Because your lines just dropped out. We'll get Jose back in a minute. There was a question that I was just thinking of, guys, and it's going to be a difficult one to answer, but I wanted to ask it anyway. It's similar lines to the last one. Who does it mean more to tonight in terms of the two managers, Pep or Poch? That's a tough Ooh, one because me. You, both you've clubs. Some questions you did, lady. You know, devious. I'm sorry. Just, that, that, I think Pep. I think like you? he's won the, the yeah he's won the league that many times with Manchester City the League Cup <sighs> and now he, he he's dying to win the Champions League in Manchester City isn't he? I know the only the only thing to counter that Gab I would say he has won it before Poch hasn't mm-hmm. you know Poch yeah. hasn't it's pro, but I don't know I think you're probably right you know. And do you remember the the scenes after that game when they played each other when Poch was at Spurs Manchester City yeah. they thought they had the goal the VAR intervened Incredible. all sorts of things Incredible. do you remember just Poch's reaction after that it was like he'd won the World Cup he yeah. was so emotional yeah. that's why I'm not saying that it means more to Poch because he's emotional but I'm just trying yeah. to I'm trying to kind of think about the See, two that, managers that, that was one of the highlights for me Gab Woodsy at the weekend watching Guardiola's reaction to winning the tournament yeah. four times in a row yeah. I, know. I mean his reaction it was as if he'd won it, won, it was his first cup of, in any way shape or form it was brilliant and that's why he's a winner OK we're going to get back to Jose because he's come back on the line Jose we thought we put you off for a second um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry if it was a bad question to get you started um, but are you back there Jose? 
I'm back. Sorry. There we go. No I'm problem. So, so basically, we were asking a little bit about the league and also this action tonight, this Champions League game, we're all looking forward to seeing pa- Paris Saint-Germain against Manchester City. Um, you played against PSG. Um, it was successful the last time as well. Tell us how difficult it is, though, to manage those stars in their team. Um, it's definitely a tough challenge. Um, but the way we did it was uh, uh, by pressing them high. It was by, you know, playing together, um, defend with numbers. When we are with a low block, uh, defend with two and four. And um, everyone did a great job. You know, the, the, the forwards and the midfielders worked extremely hard to help because that's the only way to stop them um, in our case. Um, then with the transition, we were able to create a lot of uh, good occasions. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a tough challenge and uh, you've got to pay attention at all times, especially to them too. And uh, I'm looking forward to watching the game tonight. Do you think um, winding Neymar up is a good thing as well? We've seen you got a red card um, against you guys. Do you think winding him up is a good tactic for Manchester City tonight? Because whenever I watch, when watched him play recently, he does get wound up quite easily, doesn't he? He does. He does indeed get, uh, <laughs> you know, very easily wind up. Um, although he got sent off quite late in the game, they were losing, they were chasing, they were quite frustrated. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm sure that, ho- you know, you hope that he learned from his mistakes. But, um, you know, if you have a player that is quite good at winding up people, I think that could be a good tactic, you know, because <laughs> if Neymar is not playing, it's always easier. Um <laughs> Let's you know. Let's see what let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Josie, what do you think in in terms of who's going into this game um, as favourites, or is it completely wide open? The reason I ask that because I think Manchester City are probably in a, a slightly better position due to the fact you know they are they're, they're clear at the top of the league. There's not so much pressure on them in that respect. They've come off a good victory at the weekend in the League Cup, whereas. <laughs> PSG yourselves have put them under so much pressure in the league. Is it possible that there might be a little bit more pressure on PSG because of that? I think you, you're you quite right. I think um, PSG, although they are uh, still fighting for, for the league and still in a good position, obviously, and uh, they are in the semi-finals of the Champions League and also in the cup finals, if I'm not wrong, um, of, of, of France, um, they, they they might be seen as uh, slightly underdogs on this one because of obviously the outstanding form of Man City and what they've been doing lately and how they've been playing lately. But having said that, it's a semi-final of the Champions League. If you get there, you get there on merit. And when you have players like Neymar, Mbappe, Di Maria, Verratti, I mean, uh, you can't really say there's favourites um, or clear favourites in this case. I, I, I believe that it will be a very, very uh, entertaining game, even game with the uh, different tactics going around and um, the, the the factor of the, the two managers, uh, how different they are. I think, uh, you know, everybody's looking forward to this one. Mm. Josh, I, w- I want to ask you, if I may, you, you talk about an entertaining game. I want to talk about your own team um, at the weekend. That was as good a game as I've watched in a long, long time. You're two nothing down against your your your, your rival, going for the title, Leon, and you scored a, an incredible free kick. I think it was Burak Yilmaz, and then you went on to to win the game. Yilmaz got the winner again. I think in the last three or four minutes. And the one thing I noticed, it was a obviously a brilliant result for you, Josie. But I looked at your team's reactions, players, staff. You honestly believe you can win this, don't you? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. We <laughs> let me just start by I was not happy while conceding two goals. Um, that's not obviously that, that that's not uh, what we normally how we normally play. Uh, we have the best defense in the league. We, we have probably or, or no, I know that we have the best defense in the top five leagues. We are a very very solid, very compact team. We defend as a team, and in this game, I think we started. Um, a little bit like chasing and already wanting to win the game from the from the from the get go, and we forget a little bit that we still have to keep clean sheets to to win. In this case, to win trophies. And uh, the boys up front 
uh, forgot a little bit to to react when you lose the ball. But uh, we came back and we showed character, we showed spirit, we showed belief, and um, you know, in the end, we got we got the result that we needed. And like you said, we believe 100%. There's four games to go. We are here on merit. Uh, the last two seasons we've been we've been close as well, um, competing for the always the Champions League spots. And this year we got our opportunity and we want to keep it, we want to fight for it and we want to give it a good go. Mm. Um, you are a point clear of them, like you say, four games to go as well. So we wish you best of luck uh, keeping hold of that because it would just be a massive special moment for you guys. Um, going back to the game tonight, PSG against Manchester City, we're all obsessed with Mbappe in this country. We, we, we all just think he's amazing and a, and a brilliant young talent. How special do you think he is as a player for his age as well? I think it's incredible, you know, how... How can he be so good at this age? Um, you know what he's been doing is it's it's just madness. Um, the composure, um, his ability to finish, and his pace is. I mean, Agbonohar was uh, was quick. <laughs> I tell you that. You know, I, he he was very quick. But this kid, this kid goes zero to a hundred in you know in <laughs> no time. It's, it's it's incredible the the turn of pace and you know his um, his scoring ability, his intelligence. I think he can go all the way. He can go all the way if he keeps working hard, if he keeps his feet on the ground, you know, if he keeps trying to improve. And I think that he has that mentality. Mm. Um, what about Maurizio Pochettino as well? Um, another coach that this country just looks back on with real fond memories um, at his time in the Premier League, at the club that you were at with him, Southampton, also Spurs. What's he like as a manager? And why do you think he's special? I think he's... Uh, Relationship with the players is special. He he's one of the managers that likes to be close to the players, likes to put his arm around uh, the players, and his attention to detail is second to none. He's obsessed with the game. He's obsessed with every single part uh, of the game. Analyzes everything with his staff in the uh, best possible way and prepares the players for for the games uh, in a very meticulous way. Uh, that's what I remember from him, like the, the the absolute attention to to every single aspect of the game, and the players are prepared for every situation that might happen. He's a top top player. Um, he's still young. Uh, he won his first title when he arrived in uh, in PSG, and um, I suspect that he's going to win many more because of his approach to the game. Yeah, uh, Jose, thank you. It was great speaking Jose, to you. Jose, great to talk. Good luck. What have you got? Have you got Nice at home at the weekend? Yeah, exactly. We got Nice, another battle, and let's go for it. Thank you very much to 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 having me, guys. Oh, Good you luck. are welcome. Thank you Good for luck. your time. We'll speak to you again soon, Jose. Good luck this weekend for the rest of the league as well, Jose Fonte. There.